So I made a lengthy video uh, about why I voted for Trump. I made the video for his inauguration in January, and there is a part of it that I quite like, and so I have excerpted it for this video. Right? And it is about my idea of Donald Trump as Harold Hill from The Music Man, especially the 1962 version. Right? It's The Music Man is my favorite movie, and I see Donald Trump as being like Harold Hill, and in fact, um, I hear this is, I photoshopped Trump's face onto Harold Hill in his, uh, you know, band conductor getup that he has in the first part of the movie. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I think it's very interesting. Now, there is a video out there on YouTube, you can search for it, that also portrays Donald Trump as Harold Hill. But this guy uh, th doesn't love The Music Man like I do, right? The Music Man is my favorite movie. Right? Probably it is. It's it's totally Platonic, Aristotelian, there's some Euripides in there. It's it's just classical, right? The Music Man is where you go if you want some ideas about how Plato would discuss the subject of women philosophers. Okay? It just It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful movie. So... But this, this other guy on YouTube who portrayed Donald Trump as Harold Hill. Um, now, Harold Hill is a complete fraud, as you'll see. Right? This other guy on YouTube, he, didn't, he doesn't realize that the whole point of the music man, or one of the points, is that sometimes there are these situations where the alternatives are such that we have to pick the complete fraud. Right? That's, that's one of the moral issues that the music man presents us with. Right? And in The Music Man, it turns out that it's the right choice to support the fraud, right? So this, this other guy who made the Donald Trump as Harold Hill video, um, you know, just wonderful production values, very good for him there, but um, it's, it's quite obvious he doesn't really like the movie like I do. Right? So uh, without further ado, here you go. So, I think the best way to explain Trump is that he is the character Harold Hill from the 1962 movie, The Music Man. The movie takes place in the little city, River City, Iowa, in July of 1912. The action consists in Harold Hill, a traveling salesman, showing up to sell the people of River City a marching band. In the beginning of the movie, we get to hear a conversation about Harold among some of his traveling salesman colleagues. It's this hill. He goes around selling band instruments and uniforms and instruction books by guaranteeing to teach the kids to play. Stands to reason. And organize them kids into a band with himself as the leader. What's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That sounds familiar, right? We might say that Trump doesn't know one note from another. Consider what he said last year to the Washington Post about Abraham Lincoln. Now, I'm a Lincoln fan. I'm a Lincoln file. I have Lincoln philia. This comment may be the most vapid, superficial praise of Lincoln ever recorded. He said, Well, I think Lincoln succeeded for numerous reasons. He was a man who was of great intelligence, which most presidents would be, but he was a man of great intelligence, but he was also a man that did something that was a very vital thing to do at that time. Ten years before, or twenty years before, what he was doing would never have even been thought possible. So he did something that was a very important thing to do, and especially at that time. You see what I mean? He don't know one note from another. So, back to the music man. Harold Hill is a complete fraud. His plan is to collect everyone's money once the uniforms arrive and to quickly skip town. In the meantime, he knows to seek out the people that are most likely to expose him. In this case, it is a woman librarian, Marion Peru, who also happens to be the local piano teacher. Apparently the only serious intellectual in River City, she can tell Harold is a fraud from the start. She does some research at the library about Hill's credentials, but she has a young brother, Winthrop, who, because of his lisp and the recent tragic death of his father, is incurably shy and withdrawn. 
Hill has made sure to recruit Winthrop for his band, and before Marion can expose him, the instruments are delivered, and Winthrop is excited for the first time since his father's death. He runs up to her and says, This is the significant moment of recognition in the movie. Marion had been committed to exposing Hill, but now she will be his greatest defender. She sees that even a fraud can get results. The woman, who is no fun, who quotes Balzac, Shakespeare, and the Greeks, finds herself in a position where, despite her passion for intellectual substance, the right thing to do is support a fraud. When Harold Hill came to River City, his greatest obstacle was penetrating the so-called Iowa stubbornness of the townsfolk. When he came to River City, the Iowans told him, We're so by God stubborn, we can stand touching noses for a week at a time and never see eye to eye. He was told, anything these Iowa folks don't already have, they do without. Hill was able to succeed because of his charisma. A competent musician might have failed. Hill was a powerful presence who knew how to manipulate the emotions of the Iowans and get them excited about having a marching band. They don't teach that in music school. By the end of the movie, River City has a marching band, poorly directed as it is, but they nonetheless have a band. Now, perhaps they can hire a competent music director. In 2003, there was a made-for-TV version of The Music Man starring Matthew Broderick. Its main accomplishment is that it reveals how great the OG version was by comparison. It is useful to spend a moment comparing the OG actor Robert Preston's performance with that of Matthew Broderick. From this, we will get a fine view of what charisma is and of the difference between Trump and Hillary. Well, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. Well, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. So... Trump won, and his charisma was no doubt a serious factor in the states that made the difference. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Florida, and Ohio. Trump even won Iowa. If Trump hadn't won, I would be so pissed at the people that supported him in the primary. But he did win, just like Harold Hill. And it is quite likely that a fine Republican wouldn't have won. And I am a partisan Republican, so I thank him for winning in spite of my belief that he doesn't seem to know what he is talking about most of the time.